Sperry Top Cider Charleston Race Week 2012 is the fastest growing regatta in the country. With over 250 vessels here this year, it's proving to attract the bigger boats as well. The Charleston Harbor Resort and Marina offers the competitors a unique ability to entertain spectators on shore with surprises like the arrival of the America's Cup, which is making its way around the country flying first class as we speak. The three days of racing looked a bit different from last year. The convergence of the Ashley and Cooper River mixed with the light air was most noticeable around things that were anchored, like starting lines and mark roundings. The wind has shifted. It's a cross-current start. That's going to make for some entertaining roundings, and here's why that ebb tide is ripping. And here come some starboard tackers. X-ray is up. Two, three. The X-flag is up. We're going to try that again with the general recall. The race committee had to keep on their toes, and like prima ballerinas, they got in plenty of racing for the 17 fleets of boats. The leaderboards changed every day for most of the classes, as visitors learned from the locals how to tame the raging rivers. Consistency and cool tempers added up to victories for George Segalaris' Shockwave in IRC, the biggest boat in the regatta. Bob and Sandy Butler aboard Perf A Carbonado, Bob Moran's Perf B Ragin, who also won the J111 subclass and the trophy for the most competitive class. Emotion in Perf C, Latrage in Perf D, in Perf E, Bandit, Perf F, Seafest, Perf G, Ben Around, Alexandria in the cruising class, and for the Tartan 10's Team Eyeball. Moving inshore, our victors were Ultimate 20 Dream Killer. J24 USA 5448, J22 Greg Fisher aboard USA 1586, who also won for the most competitive one design class. Kicks kicks some J80 transom. Argo in the biggest fleet out there, the 40 strong Viper 640 class. The Melgus 20 saw several lead changes, but Russell no, Lucas's shimmer took the cake. Is it, is it? And in no. the Melgus 24 class, every race was a lame Gulari controversy. Gulari proved the most adaptive to the variable conditions, though, and claimed victory. As the sun sets on 2012 Sperry Topsider Charleston Race Week, we congratulate all of the competitors and winners. For T2P TV, this is Ashley Love.